Workout Muse. It's time for Ask BJ. Each and every episode, I will personally answer one of the questions I have received from one of our valued Workout Muse followers. Let's take a look at this week's question. Karen from Seattle asks, I've been using kettlebells for about eight months now and love them. My only problem is that I get very sore and sometimes bruise on the top of my wrists. I actually have small wrists to begin with. I can't do snatches or cleans without heavily wrapping up my wrists. Any suggestions? One of the biggest concerns with kettlebell training is the bruising that can happen in the back of the wrist from movements like cleans and snatches. For the clean, it's one of those movements where actually you benefit from using a heavier weight. And I'm going to show you right now an example of what happens if I use too light of a weight. A lot of flap comes back in the wrist because of the movement. So here's a lighter kettlebell that I probably should use for the clean because it's just too light. I'm more powerful than the weight allows. I'm keeping it tight. You'll notice as it comes up, because I'm so strong at the hips for this weight, it kicks back and rotates and can slam my wrist or shoulder, making it uncomfortable. So again, if it's too light, you'll notice it starts to do that type of movement where it flips back. An instant fix is just to go heavier. It's amazing. Most movements, you actually will want to increase, decrease the weight to work on that technique and get better form. But this is actually one of the movements where it's a bit counterintuitive and you benefit from a heavier weight. So here's a heavier weight. And notice how it's a much more smooth, clean, comes in nice and tight, no excessive flopping on the wrist. Other thing with the clean is if you get too big of an arc, there's a kickback. So a poor clean in terms of too much arc, I'll be here and it'll flat back. Obviously that's horrible for a lot of reasons. Your shoulder, the flat back on the wrist. One great corrective exercise is doing it against the wall. So take a look at me here. I use the wall, get nice and tight. What the wall is going to force me to do is keep the clean really tight to my body to prevent that excessive arc and the kickback on the wrist. So I set up, face just in front of the wall, pull through, bring it in, back, pull through, bring it in, back, pull through, bring it in, force you to stay tight, really improves form. For the snatch, it's first critical to learn how to do the high pull the one arm high pull the right way first before going to the snatch. The snatch essentially is the one arm high pull once it takes you to this weightless point. At the weightless point is when you want to punch through and get full extension on that kettlebell and it kind of roll the, the hand around the belt. So here's an example. Here's the one arm high pull. You got to start here and master this first. Front view. The bell is between the feet, eyes up, chest out. I'm going to pull through, bring it up, pull, bring it up, pull. Bring it up, pull. Notice the weightless point is right there. So when I do the snatch, that's when I want to punch through and bring it back. So I pull, punch. Pull to the weightless, punch. Pull to the weightless, punch. Pull to the weightless, punch. So side view again, one arm high pull. Here, pull, pull. Pull to the weightless, punch. Pulls the weightless point, punch. Pulls the weightless point, and punch. Great way to fix your cleans and snatches to carry your wrist at the same time. Hey Karen, thanks so much for the question because your question was asked and answered on this show. Please be sure to email us at support at workoutmuse.com to get your free soundtrack in the house. And if you want to get your question answered on the show, be sure to go to contact at workoutmuse.com, submit the Ask BJ form with your most pressing fitness question or concern, and if I answer on the show, you will also get a free soundtrack on the house. Workout Muse.